pressure have you felt with relating to being a director and also playing that lead role and, and, and obviously the pressure that comes with, with being a lead actor in a film? Oh, a lot of pressure. It was more like you got to figure it out on the spot and you got to make, you got to figure it out and, and give people the trust that you can do this. And when people see it in your eyes that you don't know what you're doing, they know. And like, <laughs> you know, you better change that look quick because it could, it could kill morale. And so I would, honesty was such a big key. And if I didn't know something and somebody was like, swap that lens out for this lens, I'm like, all right, bro, I don't know that lens. Can somebody show me what that lens is, you know, so we could just get into this. Oh, okay, yes, yeah, a 50. Let's use it, and, you know, so oh, we're doing a close-up. We're, so, you know, a lot of, um, uh, you know, I knew if I faked the funk, it would be over for us in a heartbeat. So I, I had to really work with my trusted partners to, to accomplish the mission at hand. One of the most interesting facts, obviously, about this particular film is that it's got a certain Filipino legend who's an executive producer on the film in The Great Manny Pacquiao. Where where did his involvement come into play? Did he get in touch with you in relation to wanting to be a part of this project? I reached out to him right when we were done because I felt like when we were done, we finished this film. It was, you know, we put our everything, hard work, almost, you know, we're threatening our lives, you know, COVID, we didn't know what was going to happen, you know, so we, but we did it under the same humble mental attitude of just completion. And right when we finished, um, we said, well, since we don't have names, nobody really knows us. Maybe somebody up there who's got a big name could help us raise awareness of this film, raise awareness of these issues. And that same day, Manny Pacquiao posted uh, fight me instead on his Instagram. And I said, man, this is a sign from the heavens. I got to reach out to this guy. So I DM'd him on Instagram and I said, you know, uh, we would greatly appreciate if you could raise awareness of these, you know, we're fighting for the same mission. And they responded to me and I almost thought like they're going to ignore me, you know, 6 million plus followers, the yeah. biggest name in the Philippines. He's probably not going to pay attention to me. And he did. And he said he'd love to support it. And he, you know, his, his name and everything, that reputation, he trusted with us. And so uh, it got spotlight, CNN, NBC, you know, you name it. And it was such a blessing. So has anybody had the opportunity to see, other than yourself, to see the the final cut of the movie now? Has there been anyone in the press or anybody that's been able to actually sit down and see this movie and, and, and provide you sort of some initial feedback before it goes out to the general public? Yes, we, we had um, distributors reached out to us and, you know, they, um, some big time, you know, I signed some NDAs to not reveal it. Um, but, uh, you know, also in the Philippines, they said, we want to, you know, showcase this. And, uh, you know, literally just last night, we um, uh, signed a deal with a distributor to get this out uh, worldwide. So we're really, really blessed for that. And, um, you know, typically films take years to make, you know, the behind the scenes to end to end. And, you know, we did everything in that 90 day window. So it's, uh, we did it at speed. And um, maybe that's an incentive to show people that even in the toughest of times, this is arguably the most tough time to make a movie, uh, the pandemic, right? We were able to do it with no experience. And I hope that encourages people that whether you don't have boxing experience or you don't have movie making experience, if your mission is more important than you, then you'll find a way to do it. And that's what we do.